Thank you, Councilman. Uh, obviously, Meany Street's very concerned about this. We are absolutely opposed to it. No ifs, ands, or buts, and we are in this to the end. There is no way this is going forward. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> Thus far, we've invested over $30 million in here in South Providence. We're getting ready to break ground in another $15 million. Okay, we are in this neighborhood. We are part of this neighborhood. These kids are our kids. We serve over, in our schools here, we have over 500 kids here every day. The overwhelming majority, 90% of them are kids from province, or kids from the neighborhood. The councilman mentioned the schools, the other nearby schools. You got the two uh, high schools, the middle school, the two elementary schools, and Mary Fogarty, and Rod Williams Daycare. And Dr. Simon, one of the things he brought up is the leading cause of absenteeism in the Providence Public Schools is asthma. If you can't get them to school, it doesn't matter how bad the system is or how good it is, kids are not going to learn. This will do absolutely nothing. It will actually, this is a crisis, what it will do to children's health in this area. So anything, you know, I encourage, Linda, thank you for getting us involved. Anything Meeting Street can do to help, we are there, and we're working with others in the community. You know, Merrill Thomas, I know they're totally on board, so we're really excited to see the Community Health Center here. And we've talked to other property owners who are, are going to be on board. Uh, Mr. Carr, Jamo Carr, uh, the Winokur family's on board. Uh, Dimio's, Dimio Construction's on board. And we just heard Lifespan's on board as well. Yeah. So anything we can do to stop. <laughs>